How's it going, folks? Uh, this is 16 with my DJ here, and I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this. Uh, so I am actually in Maryland at the time being, and I'm actually in Maryland right on the border with Delaware. If you know anything about Delaware is they have zero sales tax. Um, that makes it really excellent for people like me, who like to buy things occasionally, um, to get little gifties that don't, uh, and you don't want to have $80 worth of sales tax. So this is an Asus notebook. It is a uh, Q550LF, um, it's a bunch of other numbers at the end, but it's a Q550LF um, notebook PC. So, main factors of this computer, actually I'll get to them when I open it, so I have already opened this by the way, um, I just had to um, check that it was working and whatnot, but let's just get in on the main thing here, so we'll notice audio by Bang & Olufsen. Um, that. I'm not actually sure about how that's going to act, but I'd like to see. So, here we get to the lovely fiber finished uh, Asus notebook itself. I believe that it was originally put in, it was put in like this, so you could see the Asus logo properly. It is a 15.6 inch uh, 1080p display notebook. Um, the specs on this machine were really what caught my eye. I'm going to need a, a notebook for school. My iPod is trying to yell at me. Um, and it, this, something like this made a lot of sense. So I'll just take a quick peek in the rest of the box. There's quite a lot of stuff in here. Um, take out the this here. It's got various documentation. That's some sort of warning guide. There's a cleaning cloth. Sorry. Cleaning cloth. We've got, I think this is warranty card. Yeah, warranty card. And a quick start guide. And... See what else we got here. We've got a power cord. This is pretty standard fare so far. We have got a couple interesting things in here that you'll see. Uh, we've got a power brick. It's a pretty nice, uh, nicely designed Apple following sort of style of AC adapter. So there's some information. It looks it looks pretty good. Um, this is, I think, this is the like um, biggest notebook I have ever like the the most not garbage notebook I've bought myself in a long time so I'm very excited to have something with a bit of oomph for school I think those might be empty here's kind of interesting this as you saw it said audio by Bang & Olufsen this is an external subwoofer I didn't even realize that this was included with the package when I when I grabbed the notebook and it's a it's an external I think it's USB um, subwoofer. So you leave it on a desk wherever you plan on doing a lot of your work and you just listen to music and apparently it amplifies bass so that'll be interesting to test out. I'm not sure that I'll use it a lot though. Um, let's take a look. I'm not sure what else we've got here. Unfortunately I am one-handing it because um, that's the only equipment I have on me at the moment but that might be everything in the box. Alright so I kind of mauled the box but it looks like that is everything that is uh, with the computer. So we'll just take a quick look at it before I uh, retire here. Uh, it does come with all these little accessories, as I said. It's got a power uh, extender, power brick, a subwoofer, a little warranty information that you don't need to know about, and the computer itself. Now, the computer, um, I, I the, one of the large reasons why I grabbed it was because it has a really solid feeling chassis. I think a lot of it is made out of aluminum. Can't tell what specifically is though, but um, just felt really, really, really well built when I played with it at the Best Buy. So we'll just go ahead and pop it open. It isn't charged yet. It does require an initial charge, so I'll be plugging it in for a few hours. Um, but yeah, there's information. We'll just take a look at the device itself. Uh, I believe the keys are not backlit, but that's not a big problem. Chiclet keyboard is probably, I mean, is is better than some of the other ones out there. Uh, it's got a good feel. Of course, I'm used to mechanical keyboards, so it'll be a bit different, but I've used notebooks before. So, going around the side, well, actually, let's take a look at this. That's the 15.6 inch um, touch display. This, of course, comes with uh, Windows 8 standard. We've got what looks like camera and then a couple other little detectors up there. Not sure what they are, but uh, down here along the front, we've got the various LEDs, which will be difficult for you to see, but we got one for, uh, I'm assuming, brightness, something like that, battery indicator, hard drive, Wi-Fi, and uh, I'm not sure what the A is. 
we'll have to take a look. Uh, we have a couple buttons, uh, um, specialty buttons. We've got the power button, of course, and we've got this uh, sort of special ASUS button, which launches a special Windows 8 application. Um, don't know too much about that. I may stop using it or not use it at all. So here's the good stuff. It is an Intel i7, I think it's 4200U. So that's pretty good. It's the latest generation Haswell chip, which is excellent. I'm sorry for the sh shaky hand. That is a GT745M, clocked at I think 845 megahertz. I could be wrong. Um, 392 CUDA cores, that sort of stuff. So, yeah. So we've got nice chiclet keyboard. Um, feels really good. And this will be my first Windows 8 um, notebook experience. Uh, I tried Windows 8 on my desktop, and for multiple reasons I uninstalled it and put Windows 7 back on. Um, but this will be nice. Uh, the touchpad feels really good. It's, um, it's, I can't tell if it's the glass, but it feels like it's, sorry, my camera work is not too good today. It feels like it's aluminum or something, but it, it feels really good. Um, personally, I don't like the, uh, sort of texturized glass that some companies use, like Apple and, uh, I think, I think Acer, uh, no, uh, Acer may be doing it as well. Not a big fan of that, but, yeah, the keyboard look, layout looks okay from initial view. I'm sure I'll get used to it. And, uh, yeah, let me give you a couple more specs. It's a, um, 5200 RPM, or the 5900 RPM hard drive, one terabyte. I chose not to go with an SSD because I want this to last as long as possible, and it's a, there's a good chance that the hard drive will outlast an SSD with heavy use. Um, go around the outside. We've got an SD card slot, a multi-reader slot, super speed USB. We've got a DVD read-write drive, Kensington. Um... We've got power input. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I think that's a special cord for the subwoofer. Got Ethernet and HDMI output, uh, DisplayPort output. Is that? It's Mini DisplayPort or one of those things. Super Speed USB times two, and it looks like a Super Super Speed USB and Thunderbolt. That may be what that is. That's pretty cool if it is. And of course headphones. So I guess that was my quick look, my quick very shaky look at the ASUS. Uh, Q550LF, and I will, I'm sure you'll see this in some of my future videos, and I'm very excited. It retails for $99.99, so $1,000. Uh, you tell me if this is better than a baseline Mac Pro. <laughs> I mean, yeah.